Hello beautiful people, I'm Shelly Radlin and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I have an H&M try on haul. As you can see, I have purchased quite a few things from H&M and I decided I wanted to make this video for you guys to show you all of the beautiful things that I got. Some of them I'm gonna keep, some of them I'm not gonna keep because obviously it's a try on haul and I don't know if I'm actually gonna like, like any of the things that I tried on. So. That's the purpose of this video, but I will be sharing all of the links for you guys in the description because just because I don't like it doesn't mean that you guys won't like it, therefore the links so you can check out. <laughs> so the first item that I got were these wide uh, shorts that are high-waisted, these blue beautiful shorts. I first had seen shorts like this from Valeria, if you guys see her follow her on either YouTube or Instagram. She had a pair of shorts that were kind of similar to this and I was like, I feel like I can totally pull off that look. And I thought these were gonna fit kind of in the same way, right? Um, but unfortunately they just did not fit me that great. Um, I think I got them a little bit too big. These are a size four. I feel like I probably should have gone in a size two. That's the thing about H&M, I feel like with their sizes in pants, it's a little bit tricky. Like sometimes they're a little bit bigger, sometimes a little bit smaller, and I just never know, it's such a huge gamble. And so I feel like the idea of them are really cute, but the execution of them, it wasn't what I was envisioning. But I will say that the material is extremely soft. The pants itself is actually really nice. I actually do really like it. The next thing I got is this t-shirt. It's a Leo t-shirt, it's an astrological sign. You know, I'm a Leo, obviously wearing a Leo shirt because you have to know that I'm a Leo. As I'm wearing this shirt. I feel like it's the most Leo thing to do to wear a Leo shirt. I thought it was really cute. I liked the little line. I thought it was adorable. You know, I think it's a very easy shirt. Put a little blazer over it and just call it a day. You know what I mean? A very cute little standard white tee. I love these little shirts from H&M. I think they're so cute. Okay, this top, honestly, I knew that it was bright, but I didn't realize it was this bright. This red orange it is so bright my camera can't even almost like <laughs> pick it up i think it's also changing the color of my face while i have it close to my face but this red orange cardigan i think it's so beautiful i love the color so much but i'm also a very bright bold type person neutrals have been really dominating the industry right now. So many different designers have neutrals taking over. But I love, I will forever love color. I am a color baby as I wear in black, right? But I still love color. I still love pops of color. Anything that I can have that just really like gives like a bam out there. And this is just that. I think it's super cute. It's super soft. The material of this cardigan is really, really soft. They had a dress in this color that I really wanted. It wasn't out when I was putting in my order. So I have to go back on and see if I can get the dress. So I'm probably going to keep this because I love the color and why not? Next, I have the 90s baggy jeans. These are a very light wash uh, denim, and they kind of reminded me of the trending jean that Zara makes. Um, they are very long. I'm gonna let you guys know, these are very long jeans. I am 5'9", and they touch the floor. I probably need to wear heels with them, so if you are any shorter than 5'9", 5'8", you might be in trouble, you might have to go get them hemmed. They're very comfortable. I also think that I should have gotten these in a size two. I wasn't sure if I should go with a size two or four because I was like, I really wanna make sure that I'm achieving that baggy look. And I feel like they do, I can totally just wear them wear it with a belt and call it a day. But um, I feel like I kinda wanted a little bit more tight around the bum area. So I'm probably gonna just go and get these size down because I wanna size down. That's what I wanna do, so I'ma do it. You feel me? Okay, next I have two tops. I have a black version and a white version, and these are just their classic oversized t-shirts. As you see, so I got a black and I got a white. I knew that they were oversized, but I wasn't sure how oversized they are. And I'm kinda kicking myself because I got a size small in the white and then I got a size extra small in the black. And I wish I had just gotten the extra small because these are massive shirts, guys. <laughs> these shirts are literally the most oversized thing. Um, I'm for sure gonna keep the black because I really like how the material feels. Um, I usually go for Uniqlo's basic tees, but I saw online that they had these and I was like, you know what, let's give these a try. But I wish I did get both of them in a size extra small because 
the small is massive. So if you are thinking about ordering this top, make sure you go extra small if you are normally a small because it's huge. <laughs> so for my next item, I actually got the complete set. So I got the top, the pant, and the little cardigan. And we're gonna start off with the top. This is a little knit top here and it's really, really soft. I was actually very pleasantly surprised with this. Um, is I got it in a size small and just so you guys know I am gonna have the sizes and all the pieces that I wore just so you guys know for reference But yeah, this is a size small and I was worried that it would be too big on me I was wearing it with a bra So I think that I would probably size it down in this so I don't have to wear a bra with it I was wearing just like little um, cutlets with it. It's a little bit too big for my bosoms So I definitely need to go back and get this in a size extra small. It is very comfy and very soft which I was worried about if it was gonna be itchy and thankfully it is not the pants guys I definitely needed to size down in this this small is big these pants are so long they're so long <laughs> I was literally like shaking my feet around I'm like what is this are these just gonna stretch out after I wear them a couple times like I don't really want I don't want that to happen you know so it is something to keep in mind and I'm gonna keep in mind and that's why I don't think I'm gonna keep the bottoms. As far as the cardigan goes, this, okay, so it is super cute. I got these in a size small. I think it's really nice. I like it the whole thing in one set, but the thing is, the sweater was actually kind of itchy. And I don't know what happened because the top is not itchy and the bottom's not itchy. I don't know if it's just this specific one that I got is itchy, but this was really itchy for me. And I was, not, I was so sad because I was really looking forward to having a whole set. Speaking of complete sets, I bought another complete set. This is the ribbed set. This is more like an off-white um, top. It's very soft. I love this so much. I love this set so much. My only concern is for the short, I feel like the waistband is going to expand very quickly. I don't feel like the elasticity in it is going to stay very long. So I was very worried about that. And the material might stretch out. So they, you know, they start off as a very nice, tight, tightly fit short. And then after a couple wears, it could end up being a little bit baggier. I think it's so cute. I, <laughs> I still really like it. And then I got this little, I don't know what you call this, a vest? Is this a vest? Let's call it a vest. Um, I got the vest and I love this vest. I think it's so cute. I like the, uh, the eggnog color as well. And I got this as a, in a size extra small. And I'm so glad that I did because the extra small is actually really big. And I know it's supposed to fit more oversized, but this is very oversized. Like if I got this in a small, it would the underarm holes would be huge on me. I love this. I think it's super cute. I'm probably I like it a lot. Okay, so Bri actually laughed at me when it came to this because I said I, I was really ripping on these types of um, sweaters for a long time. And I was like, There's, this is like the dumbest idea ever. Like, why would you ever want a little sweater like this? And then I put this one on and I was like, I went to Bri and I was like, I think I wanna keep the little sweater top. And he's like, what? I'm like, I know I ordered it because I was just like, my my curiosity was piqued and now that i have it on i like really like this so the little sweater top that has like no bottom no buttons nothing in the front it's just covering the arms and guys i really like it you know what okay they have this same thing i got it in a neutral because i was like okay if i get it in a neutral i, mean, I will be able to wear it with more things but they have the same top in that red orange and they have the red orange dress so it comes as like a package and then i was looking for this with the dress right i wanted the knit dress but they didn't have it in my size so i was like what am i supposed to do which is why i paired it with the um eggnog top because i was like well what am i gonna do so i need to wear it with a white knitted top so now i need the white knitted top do you see the dilemma that I'm in? I still really like it. I think it's super cute. I like it a lot. It's very warm, very cozy. The material is very thick and I'm pleasantly surprised about this and it's gonna be my wardrobe and you're probably gonna see in what I wore this week video coming very soon because I wear it. I have spoken. Finishing up with some accessories, I got two pairs of shoes that I bought and two purses that I bought. So the first purse we're gonna be talking about is this black purse right here. 
it's so soft. It's got a gold chain as well as two pockets on the inside. Um, I obviously didn't take the stuffing out because I wanted to show how pretty it is with like a stuffing and it's not flat. But I like the gold chain. It's like a gold, it's weird. It's like a goldish silver. So I feel like they did that on purpose. So that way when the gold eventually starts to wear off, it'll be silver and it's like the same. You won't see that much of a drastic difference. You can also put the um, chain link inside and then carry it just like so. Have it underneath the arm and walk around or whatever floats your boat. Next and last purse that we have is this houndstooth uh, bag right here. And it also comes with a strap so that way you can wear it across body or you can just hold it with the handles. I think it's so cute. I would definitely just wear a cross body because I hate just holding bags in my hand in general. If you guys know, that's why most of my videos, I don't really have purses and stuff in my videos because I hate carrying bags. I like to just have them over cross body, but that's something that you didn't know about me, but now you know. This is a really cute houndstooth bag. I really like it. It's adorable, nice material, and yeah, pretty simple. Next, we're gonna be talking about pairs of shoes that I got. I got a pair of sneakers and a pair of boots, so pretty excited. First, we're gonna be talking about these sneakers that I got right here. They're so pretty. Hello, focus, focus focus maybe on this side i love the color so much the color palette is so so nice um it's got quite a bit of height on there so you know i got these two sizes bigger i'm an eight and a half and i got this in a, in a size 40 and they still fit me kind of tight these also they have like an elastic around here so you don't have to constantly untie your shoelaces and tie them you can kind of just soft tie them like what i have here and then you can just slip them on which is great um and then this right here actually is a reflectant so if you have your light on it and you were to shine it uh you would see that it's reflective which i think is really cool especially for nighttime that would take some like really cool photos Alrighty, last but not least here we go we have the bum -bum -bum, chunky chelsea boot this has been something that has taken me a while to hop on the bandwagon for because I am not a chunky shoe person. I am definitely more of the sleek, very classic type of looking uh, shoe. And this took me a while, just like Docs did. Docs, before I started wearing Docs, I had a very hard time convincing myself that I could pull them off. And now that I wear, I wear them all the time. Literally, they're like one of my favorite pairs of boots. Uh, they have a nice sheen to them, like so, so pretty. So I can imagine that if they were to get dirty, you would just be able to just wipe it off. These are also in a size 40. I made sure to size up because I did see some of the reviews on there saying to size up. Um, instead of having a 39, I got a 40. These fit me significantly better. But I feel like because of the chunkiness of it, it just makes my feet look really big and I'm like, like i don't i don't know how i feel about that they have actually a few different types of these types of boots the chunky boots and i just decided to pick this one because i felt like it was a good introduction for me to try on the chunky shoe how do we feel about it still don't know don't know what i'm gonna do yet or you guys can let me know can you tell me if these actually look good if i should keep them or if i should give them back and be like girl these aren't it get some different type of chunky boots because this ain't it or yes keep them what are you doing what are you second guessing like of course keep them let me know i need your help all right guys that wraps up my video i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to give me a thumbs up subscribe like comment all the jazz let me know how you feel okay because i definitely want to know how you feel about any of the pieces that i got if you own some of the pieces if you want some of the pieces if you love some of the pieces if you didn't love some of the pieces your girl wants to know okay with that being said i will see you guys with the next one because i got a whole lot of videos coming for you in a couple weeks didn't know I could sing, did you? Did you? All right. <laughs> All righty, guys. With that being said, I'll see you guys with the next one. See ya.